Exodus chapter 36. Bezalel, O holy Ab and all the men whom Yahweh has endowed with the skill and knowledge to know how to carry out all the work to be done on the sanctuary, will do exactly as Yahweh has ordered. Moses then summoned Bezerol, O holy Ab and all the skilled men whose hearts Yahweh had endowed with skill, all whose hearts stirred them to come forward and do the work. From Moses they received everything that the Israelites had brought as contributions for carrying out the work of building the sanctuary, and, as they went on bringing their offerings every morning, the skilled men who were doing all the work for the sanctuary, all left their particular work and said to Moses, The people are bringing more than is needed for the work Yahweh has ordered to be done. Moses then gave the order and proclamation was made throughout the camp, No one, whether man or woman, must do anything more towards contributing for the sanctuary. So the people were prevented from bringing any more, for the material to hand was enough, and more than enough, to complete all the work. All the most skilled of the men doing the work made the dwelling. Moses made it with ten sheets of finely woven linen, dyed violet purple, red purple and crimson and embroidered with great winged creatures. The length of a single sheet was twenty-eight cubits, it's with four cubits, all the sheets being of the same size. He joined five of the sheets to one another, and the other five sheets to one another. He made violet loops along the edge of the first sheet, at the end of the set, and did the same along the edge of the last sheet in the other set. He made fifty loops on the first sheet and fifty loops along the outer edge of the sheet of the second set, the loops corresponding to one another. He made fifty gold clasps and joined the sheets together with the clasps. In this way the dwelling was a unified whole. Next he made sheets of goat's hair for the tent over the dwelling, he made eleven of these. The length of a single sheet was thirty cubits and its width four cubits, the eleven sheets were all of the same size. He joined five sheets together into one set and six sheets into another. He made fifty loops along the edge of the last sheet of the first set, and fifty loops along the edge of the sheet of the second set. He made fifty bronze clasps, to draw the tent together and make it a unified whole. And for the tent he made a cover of ram skins dyed red, and a cover of fine leather over that. For the dwelling he made vertical frames of acacia wood. Each frame was ten cubits long and one and a half cubits wide. Each frame had twin tenons, this was how he made all the frames for the dwelling. He made frames for the dwelling, twenty frames for the south side, to the south, and made forty silver sockets under the twenty frames, two sockets under one frame for its two tenons, two sockets under the next frame for its two tenons, and for the other side of the dwelling, the north side, twenty frames and forty silver sockets, two sockets under one frame, two sockets under the next frame. For the back of the dwelling, on the west, he made six frames. He also made two frames for the corners at the back of the dwelling, these were coupled together at the bottom, staying so up to the top, to the level of the first ring, this he did with the two frames forming the two corners. Thus there were eight frames with their sixteen silver sockets, two sockets under each frame. He made crossbars of acacia wood, five for the frames of the first side of the dwelling, five crossbars for the frames of the other side of the dwelling and five crossbars for the frames which formed the back of the dwelling, to the west. He made the middle bar, to join the frames from one end to the other, halfway up. He overlaid the frames with gold, made gold rings for them, through which to place the crossbars, and overlaid the crossbars with gold. He made a curtain of finely woven linen, dyed violet purple, red purple and crimson and embroidered with great winged creatures. And for it he made four poles of acacia wood, overlaying them with gold, with golden hooks for them, for which he cast four sockets of silver. For the entrance to the tent he made a screen of finely woven linen embroidered with violet purple, red purple and crimson, as also the five columns for it and their hooks, he overlaid their capitals and rods with gold, but their five sockets were of bronze.